People have asked how we use this pelletized bedding you can get from Tractor Supply. It comes out in these, almost like a wood stove pellet, really tight little pellets. The problem with the pellets is that if your animals eat them, which we have had some eat them, they actually will expand in their stomach. And as you can see here, where the water's been getting to them, they fluff up and they expand in size. So what we do, we use hot water in the winter. It goes a long way to have the hot water as your mix. Uh, we actually mix them in the back of our side-by-side -side that we use for plowing and whatnot. And do about three bags in the back here. This is two bags loose and one 40 pound bag that we're gonna open and pour in there. What some people do is they'll lay the bag down like that and they'll actually fill that with water. Uh, if you're only doing a, a refresh on your stall, one or two bags in a 10 by 10 stall is fine. Um, three bags is a good base for a 10 by 10, but what we find is with this stuff, it stays really clean inside the barn. Uh, it allows you to pick it really well. Um, but what you want to do is definitely make sure to water it down so none of these pallets will ever expand in your equine's stomach. Uh, we'll be right back. We'll show you what it looks like after they've uh, fluffed up. So this is three bags. You can see the color difference. When they first come in, they're this real light color. And as they start picking up the water, they start expanding. You can see it crumbles pretty good there. Like I said, we use hot water. What we found is uh, five gallons of water is pretty good for one bag. When we mix it like this, you just kind of go um, by feel. But as you can see where the water's been hitting it, they're getting really fluffy. I like to let them sit out and dry a little bit too before you put them right in your stall because they do have moisture content. We're about halfway through our mix up. It's 120 pounds before water weight. You can see the color difference. It's really turning into uh, sawdust at this point. That's what you're looking for in case they eat it. You can leave some nuggets. They're not gonna um, go crazy in it, but when it gets this light, again, we just water it down with the hot water while we're stirring. Um, as soon as it's soiled a little bit, or if you, if you mix it into the soiled stuff, they're really gonna generally not make dinner out of it, but We've got some rescues coming in that came out of a kill lot. They're gonna be hungry. We don't wanna take any chances that they'll eat any of this and have it expand in colic. Um, so we're really wetting this one down. It snowed like crazy today, so it's wet anyway on their hooves when they come in. That'll also help it break down. Uh, then it'll dry out a bit while it's in the stall. And then when they go to the bathroom and things like that, it does uh, re-soak it up. Um, for them and it's really easy to pick the manure out of there all right so this is about 30 minutes later I'm not sure how many cubic feet the back of this rhino dump bed is but as you can see all of those little uh, pellets have become sawdust at this point um, touching it my hand is still dry it's damp but it's it's dry I mean um, and these pellets as they rehydrate they just become like that but again you don't want to get in a situation where that's happening inside your animal's stomach because as we know they will eat it like we said we use this for just a rough base we have uh, donkeys at our rescue and we don't do a super thick bedding base for them they actually push it out of the way when they roll inside and um, half the time they prefer to sleep in the snow so uh, this seems to work well for us. But again, this was three bags of the Tractor Supply 40 pound bag pelletized bedding with an unlimited amount of water that you need depending on your desire to break it down. But I guess this is probably 15 gallons of water, maybe 10, 15 gallons of water. Hot water works absolutely the best. If you have heated waters and you're changing your water, it's always a good, Thing to use on site too if you do that right at the barn um, then we use that hot water to um, hydrate these down at the barn but today we're setting up a new stall so this will do a good base and we usually add um, one or two bags at a time to stalls that are already um, set up with this all right so this is the shavings 
See if we can get this bed up while you're filming here. There we go. We just bring our side by side in, dump them right out. And you can see how much that makes. Nice, light, clean filling. All right, so three bags of shavings. This is a 12 by 10 stall. And you can see they're pretty much broken down. There's a few left that aren't, which is good because it'll pick up the um, remaining moisture. But it's a nice couple inch base in here. Uh, they will pack it down quite a bit. So when you're picking it, we usually use these types of picks for the solid poo and it stirs it up a little bit too. And any really soiled stuff, you can just take, it'll start looking like that and throw it anywhere where it might be uh, a little slippery form. It's really great traction too. So that is how we use tractor supply pelletized bedding. Again, that is a 10 by 12 stall, three bags, 40 pounds each and completely soaked and it looks like we could have even done a little bit more. I hope that helps you out.